The poor video quality is temporary, but these sniper spots last forever. I promise great rewards and Tarkov prosperity for those who leave their morals at the door. Oh shit! Fucking grass. Nice. Yeah! Sweet. I'm going to show you how and why this is the single best shooter barn in heaven spot in the game. I will also show you the best spot in customs and I'll show you a few nice spots in shoreline too. As a bonus, I'm going to show you some quick tips between each map to help you absolutely fly through this quest. Now you might ask, why should I listen to this guy instead of Pestilli or Axel or some other big content creator? Well, they're much better at me and that's very obvious to anyone who watches my content. But that's exactly the point. I'm very mediocre at this game and all the same, I find this quest honestly very easy. The reason being, because I throw all morals out the window when I play this game. Give it to me. <laughs> you just run over and say give it to me. Thank you, but I don't want it. <laughs> Steve! Steve! <laughs> Oh, oh my, my scav camera's gonna tank. What did you do? I, I went on a killing spree. If you turn your nose up at shooting people while they're indisposed, then you might find the contents of this video a little triggering. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you think I'm a scumbag. Alternatively, I'd like to hear if you have some feedback about these spots if you try them out. First off, let's talk about woods. Now I'm only going to show you one spot, and that's the only spot you will ever need on this map, I promise. Now what you want to do is go to the outskirts side of Lumber Mill, walk down to the waterline, and find this tree that I'm lying down by. You want to go prone and adjust yourself until you're 125 meters from both the pier and the lumber pile. The grass can be a little annoying, but I promise if you adjust yourself right, it's not really a big deal at all. The reason you want to be 100 25 meters from both of those spots is because both of those spots have a quest that requires a person to go stationary for an extended period of time meaning it's extremely easy to shoot them in the head and get this quest done very fast now granted you're absolutely going to ruin their day but whatever it's just a game now not only is this spot really easy to get the quest done in it's also very safe i have never once been counter sniped in this spot and i have people walk past me Basically every raid I do this and never once has anyone spotted me or killed me. The trick is if someone walks up behind you, even if you hear them ADS, like in this clip here, do not move, do not un ADS, don't ADS, don't move a muscle, I promise you they will not see you, no one walks up here, they will walk past. And in all likelihood, if they're going towards the lumber yard, then you can get a shot. It's not worth your time to turn around and try and snipe towards outskirt because at that ridge line it's not 125. You can see this guy up in this rock over here who missed all his shots and ruined the kill for both of us. Now the rock that this guy's up on is actually not a good sniping spot in this map. It's not 125 meters from the wood pile or the pier so you won't get shooter bond in heaven done from there. And you also stick out like a sore thumb so you're gonna get counter sniped if you stand up here for very long. Now there's another sniper spot that I actually used to use once upon a time that's no longer good enough for shoot barn in heaven. It's less than 125 meters and the angle is pretty bad anyway. The first general tip I have is timing. Timing is so important with this quest. If you're going to snipe people doing a drop off quest you need to get to the spot as soon as possible. If you spawn at the other side of the map and it takes you 10 minutes to get to your spot you're better off just reset and start again. And to add on to that, you're wasting your time if you spend an entire raid sitting waiting for someone to come along. Now every now and then you will see someone do the drop off late in the raid and you will occasionally get people walking past you just by happenstance. But in terms of time efficiency, I think it's better to just stay at your spot for like 10 minutes or something like that, then reset and then come back and do it again because your frequency of shot opportunities is going to be much higher in the first 10 minutes or so of the raid. I'd like to point out that a lot of people like to do their drop off quests at night time so it might not be a bad idea to try and do this quest at night time and if you are interested then the Vulcan MG night scope is actually not a bad option. Now the reticle is a little thick so it can be hard to see ahead at 125 meters but if you practice a little bit with it offline you should have no problems. For shoreline it's pretty common for people to snipe the first quest for peacekeeper to try and get this quest done 
but people do it from the wrong position. They generally try and snipe from this ridge line up here, but this is a bad idea because it's pretty common, people know to look up there, and it's also pretty common for people to just walk past there, even if they're not sniping. So if you just sit up there, you're asking to either get counter sniped or for people to just run up on you and start shooting at you for no reason. A much better spot is outside the blue fence here down by the pier. If you walk to the end, you can go prone, and if you do go prone here, it's 140 meters, so you have a bit of playroom. It's unlikely for people to run around this side i don't usually get any traffic coming this way so you are relatively safe now you do have to deal with scabs every now and then and it's up to you if you want to kill them before you start sniping or you can leave them there there is a good chance they will eventually wander around on their routine and walk up behind you and start shooting at you obviously they could kill you at that point but if you do leave them alive you can hear other players trying to snipe them so it can give you like a pre-warning before they arrive so it's up to you what, where you want to play that and also in the event that sanitar is here just forget about it just reset don't even try and take them on as i said it's not uncommon to see people up on the ridge beyond the gas station so you could try and counter snipe those that's obviously a pretty good option now at the point that i'm releasing this video it is borderline a little late to be sniping this spot because a lot of people have done this quest by now but for some reason, once a lot of people start to get shooter born in heaven, they seem to think it's a good idea to try and snipe this spot anyway. So, as I said, they usually go up on the ridge line. It's probably a good idea to actually try and counter snipe them with this spot. Another place people go when they try to do shooter born in heaven every now and then is up on the tower behind you. Now, this isn't as popular as it used to be, but you still get people going up there every now and then. Now, I wouldn't advise going up there yourself because you know it's people do look at it and they will counter snipe you if you try and go up there so if you're already set up here and you hear someone walk past and they're going towards the tower you wait till they get all set up and then if you walk back this way you can actually get a shot off and it's about 140 meters so that should be a nice easy kill if you do hear someone go up there a few other spots on shoreline you can go up on the roof this is where people do their radar marking quest for mechanic. If you snipe from the opposite door on the other side of the building, then you are over 125 meters. That might be a little bit of a tricky shot because people don't really stand still for very long when they're doing the marker, but it's up to you. You can try it out. While you're on the roof, you can also snipe people coming up along this river wall. And you can do this on both sides it's a bit of a long shot but people are walking in a straight line towards you or away from you and it's not uncommon for people to actually walk up this path so it's not a bad place to snipe but again as with a lot of places on this map you stick out you're gonna get counter sniped and don't be surprised when it happens now this spot up here used to be my golden spot you used to be able to snipe power station and beyond this like wooden wheel thing you knew that was the cutoff for 100 meters so you could shoot people beyond that and that was a nice marker now obviously it's 125 so the best thing to do if you want to use this spot is go to the rock here and snipe the ridge line beyond power station that's about 140 meters and people do actually go up here to try and shoot the sniper scav so you might have a decent enough window to get a shot off if they're standing still to get a nice headshot off the scabs. Okay, I'm going to talk about gear real quick. I do not recommend bringing a helmet of any kind. In all likelihood, if you get counter sniped, they're going to hit you in the head and they're going to be using high penetration ammo and it's really irrelevant if you're wearing a helmet. I definitely recommend you wear headphones so you can hear where people are coming from and you can hear them from a bit further away. I like to wear the level 4 rig from Ragman, but this is just to get me to the spot on the off chance I run into a scav or a player and I can take a few shots. But once you get to the spot, this is basically useless. For the same reason I said before, people are going to shoot you in the head if they counter snipe you. For guns, you can bring whatever you like. A large caliber is definitely better. I think a Mosin is actually not a bad option for this. And the M700 is also good. If you don't like a bolt action, then the RFB is a really nice budget option. And last wipe, I got most of my kills with an RFB using M80s. So 7.62x54R or 7.62x51 are both really good options. But make sure you try it out offline. Just aim at a wall like 125 to 150 meters away and just make sure you know what the bullet drop off profile is, regardless of what gun you decide to use. Okay, now onto customs. And like Woods, I only really have one spot because I think this spot is so good that it just justifies not bothering with anything else. Now the format of the video here is actually gonna change a bit. I'm just gonna play some stream highlights where I was playing with some friends if you've seen some of my other videos you'll know i don't usually use this kind of format where i like do some guides or do some education and this is something a bit different and i usually prefer to do more casual stuff and more comedy so this is kind of a taste of that if this is the first video that you've seen of mine this is what you could expect from some other videos but the information is still very valid 
Now, the first spot I start using is actually no longer good enough anymore. It's 110 meters instead of 125, and I didn't realize initially. But you can see I found another spot pretty close by, and I think it works pretty well. What time are we loading in the customs? Daytime. I'm a burned already. What the shit is this, Fred? It's Sniper. It's a very fancy looking sniper. That's, that's the new one. That's the new model. Fresh off the line. That's the new one from uh, HK. You can't even buy that in stores anymore. Ah, oh, there's your gun. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this, Fred? <laughs> it's your sniper. I gave him the careless whisper, Steve. That's extra careless, I think. What the f- There's a guy up on tower. There's a guy up on tower. Not anymore. Jesus Christ. Shit! Jesus Christ, that scav almost got on the bloody 50 cal. We were about to be toast. Fred, what fucking flashlight did you put on this? I can't I... turn it off. There's no way I'm picking up your phone. Like a point, point it's, it's in my like face. It's like a bloody point. spotlight. You're, you're shining it across the map. It's like a lighthouse. Oh God. Lads, I'm trying to be covert and discreet down here. All I hear is fucking, there's a searchlight spraying at the end, there's like glass <laughs> bursting everywhere and bullets going off. There's probably some guy after walking past me like, oh I should take campfire, and then he heard that and saw a big splash and he's like, oh yeah, no, I'm not going there, there. I've been with the lads, huh, Steve? That's it, Jack. Is that 125 meters, Steve? Uh, should be well over, like 150. Oh shit, it's 108, fuck! Oh man, you can get shot from the side there, that's rough. 120. Uh, Try it from the other, from the other door. Oh, it should be. Should barely 125. No, it's 123. This is it. Under the bridge. This spot. And you can see the other. You can snipe the other side as well. What's I mean, the, the, uh, city, eh, Fred? the other side's well over. The other side's 170 meters. The problem yeah, is really you can't redo You can't go prone here. Oh, oh. shit! Hide. How was that me? How was that me? Okay, I am not peeking that. Good look at that one, Fred. Is he on machine gun? Is he? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Oh, he got me. Oh, he's off it. Just kill me. Did you get no Fred for bringing an MP5 to a sniper match? There's guys there. Are there? Got one. Did I hit shot them? I think so. I think I got one. Did I? I don't see anyone. It, by it, the look, campfire. it looked like it. Why they're coming back, they they're back, they're back. They're back. Campfire is it? Could have exited. No, he's still there, is he? I, I can't tell. Okay, so that's my guide for Shooter Born in Heaven on Woods, Shoreline, and Customs. I am working on a guide for Reserve and Lighthouse, but that'll take a little bit of time. If you found this guide useful, make sure you leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it, and leave a comment down below. If you're interested in seeing the next Shooter Born in Heaven video, or if you just enjoyed the video in general, please do subscribe. I try to post a video weekly, and I also stream on Twitch at least three times a week, so feel free to drop off there as well. The links are down below in the description. Anyways, thanks for watching, good luck of all.